everybody well it's been a while i hope everybody is well and 2024 is off to a good start for you um i'm really excited to be back here with a new video to show you i've been thinking a bit recently about creative seasons and in particular the winters of our creative lives as i feel like i'm just coming out of one myself and i thought it might be useful to share a little bit about that with you in case you are experiencing one yourself or if you head into one into the, in the future. I guess like with everything it's useful to know you're not, not alone if you're feeling a bit creatively blocked um, and also how other artists deal with these dormant periods. So yeah I hope you enjoy this video and uh, don't forget to give it a like if you do and if you're new here please do subscribe to my channel. And while I'm talking, I'm going to show you a few of the little bits and pieces I've been working on in my sketchbook while I kind of come out of this creative lull I've been having. So grab yourself a drink or your pencils and paper or whatever else you like to do while you're listening to and watching videos. And let's talk winters. Like the growing seasons of the gardener's year, there are also seasons in the life of a creative. Not as regular or as frequent, but definitely as significant. I'm making this video as I process what I didn't realise at the time was a creative winter. To experience it can be quite disorientating and a little bit scary, and I think it's what is often described as creative block, a lack of inspiration or creative burnout. The main difference I've noticed with this kind of winter compared to nature's winter is that it happens quite suddenly and personally for me anyway it always comes after a really prolific time making it even more discombobulating I love that word by the way and when you've been in such a good flow of work and suddenly at the end of a project a launch or the making of a series the flow stops and then the more you try to get it going again the harder and harder it seems so when I say that I needed to process this winter I mean that it's only in the aftermath and feeling those little glows of creativity return to me that even though I've experienced this before many times, I can recognise where I was and what was happening. It all came on quite suddenly. The end of my massive 100 day project coincided with some personal muddles, came together in this like perfect storm that triggered a complete freeze in me when it came to making new art. While I was initially a little worried that the urge to draw had vanished, I wasn't too unduly concerned. I felt busy. I was busying myself putting together the 100 day project book, which was still creative. I wrote a lot about the work and I reflected on the drawings I'd made and what inspired me to do them. And I chopped up images in Photoshop and made new decorative pages for the book out of them, which was really fun. But as that came to an end and I still didn't have the urge to draw, I just started to feel a little bit more disorientated by it and though I could try and ignore it and put it down to having been busy with the children in the summer and making the book and some other life stuff it was just starting to worry me a little bit. So I kept on busying myself and I also had some client work on the go which was a, I was really grateful for and without me realising it was also just what I needed then with it being all about wellness and mindfulness. So I was still drawing and still having fun making art, but being art directed meant I didn't have to think too hard. Ideas for the work in hand were a collaborative effort and to boot it was a really lovely project which rolled on right through the autumn. And every time I felt concerned about my lack of motivation to make art for myself, the client project picked up the slack and it kept my drawing muscle flexing while I tried not to worry where my creative energy was hiding. That's the thing about creativity. These times where it just stops can be a bit overwhelming in themselves. And I realise now that my creative brain wasn't hiding, it was hibernating. It was in a long and deep sleep, recharging after the huge harvest of the 100 day project. And that is where this metaphor of the creative seasons comes in. I feel like it's kind of like the natural world. We can't be harvesting all the time. 
It's like the soil in the ground needs a rest to regain nutrients. And same with our minds, they need to rest and be taken care of so that we're ready when the time comes to be able to nourish new seeds of ideas and let them grow. I often feel like there's outside pressure to be making and creating and doing stuff all the time from the internet, from our perceptions of other people seemingly like these artistic fountains, ideas and amazing art just spewing forth all the time. But it would surprise me if that was truly the case for anyone, as we all go through these seasons and within that, winter is inevitable. So if you are feeling stuck or in a creative block, burned out or finding a lack of inspiration, then perhaps you're in a winter too. It helps to remember it won't last forever and hopefully yours won't be as long as mine has been, which was about six months. Um, but yeah, it's disorientating and frustrating, but try not to force it. It's all part of the natural cycle of things. With that in mind, it definitely becomes less scary if we can recognise that creativity ebbs and flows. Sometimes we're like those creative fountains I mentioned before. It's exciting and it feels like the flow will never stop, like we see the world each day with a renewed wonder and curiosity and everything is ripe for inspiration and interpreting into art. But sometimes it dries up too and we go dormant. In that time, just keep listening to yourself. Keep an open mind and when those little glimmers of hope start to return, which slowly and surely they will, take time to nurture them. It helps to think of them like buds emerging, coming forth but with a protective coat of leaves taking care of all the fragile and precious goodness inside. And then with the right gentle nurturing, we can never force these things. When the time is right, little by little we can bloom into our best creative selves once more. So what's happening now I'm moving out of my own creative winter? Well, right now I'm at the seed gathering stage, keeping my energy, mind and body open to fresh ideas and looking back at past work to see what I can take forward and what I learned from it. I'm rereading and looking at art books that I remember feeling excited by in the past and as you can see, I've also been playing in my sketchbook, not stressing myself about making brand new finished pieces yet or who these will be for. I'm just seeing what's going to make me happy and keen again. I'm taking care to notice what's starting to grow out of what I'm planting and then when I'm ready, I'll be able to run with it. Yeah, it was a little scary when it had been nearly six months of not making anything for myself. It's a really long time and I'll be honest, I was starting to worry that it would never come back. Would my mind ever feel sharp enough to be receptive to ideas and capable of independent creative thought enough for me to make work again? But it's here, the little seedlings are popping forth once more. It's so nice to feel that little glow of excitement for making physical art come back again. If you're going through this too, the thing to remember is that it is all cyclical. I have struggled to remember this the last few months myself, occasionally panicking that I haven't made the work and that nothing new is coming to me. But now I'm finally coming out of the other side, I can see it for what it was the winter of my latest creative cycle. So while in the real world we're right in the depths of winter and it's cold outside and there's ice on the ground, in my creative space it feels like spring is arriving again and that really feels good. So I'll leave you with these finished spreads from my sketchbook. I'm not sure where I'm going to take them yet but I've really enjoyed making them and I hope you like them too. I'll be back with another video very soon and if you like this one please do give it a like. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you soon.